I think this is the last video I'm going to do about this bishop guy. I said that this was going to be much more positive than the previous one where I kind of criticized him and his lack of insight into God. But this cannot be that much more positive because again he does something that is not based on the truth. The first time I heard what he's about to say, I'm gonna show you the clip, it sounded okay to me. But the more I think about it, the worse it is. And the ramifications of the wrong person believing what he's saying here at the worst time can lead to something horrific. I'm gonna play the clip. Let's see if you can spot what he does wrong, what isn't based on the truth, and what is the truth. Because Jesus said that he himself is the way, then the way to heaven is itself heaven. Now, let me say that again. Jesus said, I'm, I'm the truth and the life, right? But he also said, I'm the way. And that means the way to heaven is itself heaven. See, here's a false way to think about things spiritually. Heaven, it's this great candy land. It's this great... <laughs> reward. It's this great prize that I get. After what? After this terrible, tough slog through life. <laughs> you know, I'm asked to do, I mean, God knoweth why, but I'm asked to do all these really challenging, difficult things. You know, to pray, to sacrifice, to love, yes, even my enemies. Uh, and, and, you know, I've, I've tried, and it's just a tough slog. And there's no letting up. It's supposed to go on your whole life long. So I guess, you know, after I paid that terrible price, then I deserve this reward at the end. I deserve the prize of heaven. And, and someone, see, therefore, who hasn't done the work, he hasn't gone through the long slog. He, he's lived this kind of, you know, self-indulgent life, and maybe at the very end, he does the right thing. He gets the same reward I get. Come on. Remember, Catherine of Siena, the way to heaven is heaven. Let me put it this way. Do you really think that Mother Teresa of Calcutta, now in heaven, <laughs> confronted there with someone in need, uh, offered there the opportunity to love, would say, no, 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 I'm done with that. I did that all my life long on earth. I put up with all these people, you know, all my life long, and now I deserve a little R&R. &R. I deserve my nice reward here in heaven. No. The point is, the way to heaven is heaven, meaning the love that she was demonstrating all her life long is precisely what was preparing her for the fullness of life in heaven. Okay, so I played the clip, you watched it. What he's saying here is that Christ is heaven. And he never really explores the logic of it. He says that because Christ says, I am the way, the life, the truth, that means that Christ is heaven. That's not true. Christ is somebody who is at the right hand of the Father in heaven, and the Father in heaven is greater than Christ. That's what he said. So how can heaven be somehow equal to Christ? The Father is there who is greater than Christ, and then there are the hosts of angels, the worshippers of God, the followers of Christ. Does it make sense that Christ is heaven then. The way of Christ was riddled with people trying to stone him, people persecuting him, ridiculing him, people eventually killing him. How can that be heaven? It can't. It is so divorced from truth. And the reason this matters is because we have to stick to the truth at all times. It isn't always clear to us why we have to do it, because we don't see the ramifications if we don't. But they are there. 
Like, can you imagine somebody trying to desperately follow Christ? And they hear this speech that following Christ is heaven. And they are suffering greatly. That they are being hurt by somebody close to them, for example. And they believe that this is heaven. They might be like liable to take their own life from that. That's how horrible it is when you deviate from the truth. It sounds nice when he's saying it. Christ is heaven. Yeah, he's the holy son of God. He must be heaven. No, he doesn't. Have you not read the Bible? It's not just empty words. You don't get to change the meaning of things. And this is what these religious leaders today are doing. And it doesn't mean anything anymore. It's just something that sounds nice. It sounds nice to them when it comes out of their mouth. But it's no longer based on the truth. It's no longer based on Christ. Christ never said that I am heaven. He said he is the way to the Father who is in heaven. This person is denying Christ. And he, this is considered praise. Like there are videos about this sermon praising this bishop because it sounds beautiful. It's actually denying Christ if you believe what he is saying. I said it before, in Christ there are no Christians, like there are no Jews, like there are no Greeks. And I believe that completely. There are only people who have received the same spirit that Christ had, the spirit of God, the spirit of truth. It's getting kind of dark here, but I want to end the video with a um, message to the people who are wise in their own eyes. If you are wise in your own eyes, you probably think that I missed the point of what the bishop is trying to do here, which is talk about how we change as people when we follow Christ, you know. How we become full of love and light and joy. We want to take care of each other. We want to do things that are pleasing to our good God. That's what he's saying, right? But you're missing the point. The way he arrived at this true lesson is by taking a piece of the truth which is necessary to get to that point and tossing it out the window. Christ is not heaven, he is the way to heaven. You can't change that up. These things are real. I've experienced them. Anyways, what do you guys think? Should I do more videos where I uh, look at religious leaders of the world and, 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 um, and <laughs> criticize them? I don't know. I, I get kind of heated sometimes, but it's not terrible for me. I have the peace of Christ, mostly, when it comes to this stuff. So, I wouldn't be against it, but maybe people don't enjoy it. I think this is useful. I think this is necessary, almost. Maybe it's kind of unpleasant for some people because they like the nice stories that are not true, really. But to me, the way to heaven, there's the right path and then there are countless false paths. And that's important. Do you guys think that I should um, look at more of these religious leaders? Do you guys have suggestions or something like that? I don't know.